Hey guys, we're going to try something different today. I'm going to try working with the aspect ratio so everything's a little bit cleaner. So I got a request to do next cloud behind Nginx. So we're going to go ahead and complete from scratch here. So let's add a data set. I'm going to call this Nginx. It's going to be, I'm going to leave it as generic. Okay, and I'll create a subdirectory under that called certs. Leave it as generic. Cool. All right, let's create an app now. Nginx proxy manager. I was doing something wrong last time. I want to show you what it was. Here, my user ID needs to be zero. My group ID is zero. Now I'm going to change my web port. Oops. Go change my web port. Uh, that's fine. This is going to go to 443. Okay. My host path volume is here. Okay. Certs. This is why we created a separate one for certs because we want all the let's encrypt stuff in its own directory. Like that. All right, everything's good there. Let's run it. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to come over to the wiki. And I'll come down here to Nginx. I forgot my logins. There's login right there. Passwords change me. Well, that's doing that off the screen. I'm going to put a port forward in my router, and I'm not going to show you guys that because I don't feel like blurring a whole lot of things right now. Okay, so this is deploying. Let's check its logs. Yep. See, this is good. See, all these. This is exactly what I want to see. Before, I didn't see any of this. Okay. So I come over here. Nginx is running. So now we can go to the web UI. No, sorry. Now we can go to the web UI. Come over here. Come in. I'm not going to use my real email. I'm just going to do it like that. Okay. Cool. All right. I'm going to let that hang out right there real fast for a second. I'm just going to do my port forward off the screen. Port forwarding and make sure I'm going to the right thing because I wasn't. Uh, I want to enable 443 and a port forward. I want to make sure that I'm forwarding it to the right address. So in this case, it's going to be the address of my TrueNAS server, which is 0.191. Uh, 443 will forward there. I'm going to save and apply changes. So now my port forward should be on. Okay, so now let's, I'm going to show you the deployment of Nextcloud because that's what we came here to do. Discover apps. Nextcloud. I'm going to install Nextcloud. First, we're going to create a data set for Nextcloud. Pigs, data set, next cloud. We are definitely going to go with apps in this case. Okay. Okay. Now let's discover some apps. Next cloud, install. I think this is going to require a pretty robust password. I don't think you can do. Maybe we can. Let's see what we can do here. Okay. Host. Okay. So 
we're going to do nextcloud hydrology.cc because that's what I own. I want to do a real demo. Data directory path is fine. There's password. Database password. We're just going to do insecure passwords. You're going to do in, you're going to do secure passwords because you guys want to be safe. Additional environment variables. Web UI for it. Certificate ID. Okay, so here's all your host path stuff there. So I'm going to come right above this and just see here. This is going to be at 30027, which is fine. Certificate. We're going to leave that off right now if we can. We're going to see if it does it. So this is the data storage. This is user data storage. This is Postgres data storage. Let's see if we can throw all of this in host path. See if we can throw all this in host path. I don't know if it'll do it, but we'll try. Okay. Let's run it. In the meantime, I'm going to show you what DNS records look like to actually add this. So I'm going to bring this screen over here in a second. Actually, hold on. Yeah, it should be fine. I'm going to bring this screen over here. So when I would do my DNS record, it needs to look like this. And it looks to, to look like this. Next cloud. There we go. So it says nextcloud.hydrology.c is an alias of the target and it's a traffic proxy. That's exactly what I want. So to add nextcloud to my DNS, it's just nextcloud like that. And I hit save. And it's a CNAME record. Save. Yep, sorry. I think it's at, there we go, nextcloud.com.cc is an analysis of hydrology.cc, et cetera. Save. So this failed in the background. It didn't like that probably because of the way we're doing host path here. So. My recommendation Okay, we're good there. What is it running as? It might be because it's not running as apps. What we're gonna do is just for the purpose of this video really fast, I'm gonna do IX volumes for everything. See if that clears it up. And it did. So something was going, I probably need more data sets. Uh, when I come over here for Nextcloud, um, you, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to create some sub data sets for all that other stuff because trying to shove it all in one folder did not work at all. So definitely created more of a hierarchy here. So let's come over here to apps. Just kind of deploying. This is a big thing. You'll see there's a lot of containers here. Um, it's big. So let's see if we can get any. Let's see what we're showing here. Sure. Okay. So let's come over back to my Nginx. And what is my next cloud running on? It's running on 30027. So let's come back to Nginx. We're going to want to go to dashboard, proxy hosts. We're going to add a proxy host. And we're going to do this actually for real. Next. Cloud.hydrology.cc, tab over. This is going to go to 10.99.0.191.30027, because that's what I have it running on. Let's do all the fancy add ons. OK, custom locations. It's fine, SSL. We're going to request a new one. And we're going to do all the cool stuff. OK. I agree. I'm going to hold it right there because I need to do one thing. Next cloud is running. Let's see if I can get to the web UI. Okay. This is exactly what I'm talking about. See how it says trusted domain? Some people, untrusted domain, some people get that error. You didn't do anything wrong. Let's come back over here and we're going to shell into next cloud. Yeah. Shell. Yes. Let's see where I'm at. 
All right, so let me blow this up so you guys can see it. That we want to change directory into our configs. Oh, it's not going to do it. Configs tab complete is not going to work. Config. Okay, I want to cat config dot php. All right, cool. See this right here where it says trusted domains array. This is exactly what we're looking for. So notice that what's not listed on here is my 10.99 address because I entered when I've set this up nextcloud.hydrology.cc as my domain that I wanted to generate from it automatically added it to this list. So we're going to have to come in through our fully qualified domain name. So this should work right now. Let's try and hit a save. See if we can get it. Now it's actually reaching out to my cloud fair, really going through actual internet traffic, going through my router and then trying to reach the instance. If it doesn't work, it's going to fail. We're going to see. Because I didn't actually port forward 80, but if it fails, I'm going to add a port forward for 80 and see if that's the problem. Because right now I'm only port forwarding 443. It's taken a while, which makes me think it's probably going to fail. It is. Okay, so let's try this again. I'm going to add a port forward to 80. Ten ninety nine zero one ninety one. My destination port is eighty. Always. All right. Let's try this again. Ah, cancel. Okay. Hold on. Host. Proxy host. Okay. There it is. Uh oh, status is unknown. Let's edit. Okay, SSL, it's requesting an SSL. Oops. Don't want to do that. Okay, save. There we go. So that worked. So now I should just be able to click this. That's interesting. So we're still getting an untrusted domain. So what we're going to want to do is come back in here uh, and I'm going to want to change this. So for whatever reason, that's not giving me probably because it doesn't like this little end port here. So let's uh, edit this. Let's, can, do we have nano? Nope, we don't. So let's use vi for config.php. Okay, so we're not going to go like that. Um, you guys are going to have it in your data set, so you can just edit it directly in your data set. We're not going to do that. Um, so what we're going to do is I'll show you a tricky way to kind of backdoor this. So next cloud, I want to see its mount points. So next cloud mount points, volume mounts here. This is where it is. Um, let's see. So this is the data. I bet you this is the mount point. So let's copy that. Okay. Let's go to system and shell. And we're going to change directory there. And we're going to do it as root. So it was an HTML. I was in the wrong spot. So now we're going to go to config. And now my tab complete works, which is actually a lot nicer. So this is probably a better way to do it. And now we're going to nano config PHP. Nope. Okay. We're going to come all the way down here. So there we go, right here. We're just going to add it another one here. OK. 
Okay. Like that. That's how I want to do my array. So I'm going to control X and then Y and then enter. And now I'm going to restart this container. So I'm going to next cloud. Down. If I don't stop this and restart it, that change is not going to be registered. So let's come back up. You know what I should have done too is add one for my local, but it's okay. Because in the event of your HTTP or your DNS or whatever it goes down, like you can't access it locally. I should have added one for local, but that's okay. Okay, that should be running. So let's try the web UI. Okay, of course that's not going to work. Let's try it through Nginx. There we go. Now Nextcloud is officially running through Nginx Proxy Manager with the allowed domain, and I get my name and email. So admin, I think I did this like that. Nope, it's all cool. It's all good though. I forget. I forget what I use for my password. Yep, I had just had to enter it twice, but it's all good. But here we are. Everything is running.